Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, uh, the Mad Kaiga, and up here today, um, I've got like another micro review video where I've got a bunch of PlayStation 2 games here that I, I tried out last night, and I just thought I'd share with you what I thought of them. Um, I didn't actually play these games for a long, long time, I just tried them out, and I have already said before that. Um, when it comes to things like PlayStation 2 games and older games, you know, sometimes, you know, you can sit there and play a game for, for a long time. O other times it's a small session. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's... Shh. And, yeah, that, that's the problem sometimes is that you go back and you play some games and you, you know, games that... Here, I've got some games here that I had in my childhood and uh, some games I was a little bit disappointed by, but... Um, I just wanted to share that one game. I did try to play it last night and I was like, I wanted to try it and that's 25 to life. Unfortunately, it just didn't work. Um, but the thing is, there's not, the, don't, the disc looks fine, but it just got to, uh, uh, like, I got past like the first copyright thing and then the game just, uh, blank screen. Um, I think I remember that I had the similar problem when I tried this out before, so might be something wrong with the game itself i don't know let me know if you've had a similar problem with this game kind of disappointed i want to try this game out you know but that's the problem with sometimes when you buy a lot of second hand games especially older games is that you will run into a, a couple of problems down the line and sometimes you won't uh, uh the game won't work unfortunately and there's not much you can really do about it except you know buy a coffee and hope that that one works um, but anyway, let's just get straight into what I did I did play last night. Like I said, I didn't play these games for a long, long time. Some of these games I just played for a couple of minutes. Um, so these aren't like in-depth reviews. These are just uh, some, some impressions of sort of, you know, talk about some of these games in depth. Of course, we're still doing the uh, PlayStation 2 collection video. And uh, join me tonight, guys, because I will be streaming again on Mixer, playing some more Red Dead. Redemption 2 online, lots of fun to be had, it's going to be a great laugh, I've been having a lot of fun playing Red Dead 2 online with my friend, really is enjoyable, check it out tonight, I'll put a link on Twitter when I go live, uh, sorry about the plug, but whatever, and um, the first game I tried out was Army Men's Air Attack Blade's Revenge, now, um, I remember playing the original on, on PlayStation 1, or at least the demo, and I thought the demo looked pretty good, it looked like a really good game, um, okay, and I don't have a lot to go on. It was when I was a kid, so it was like a small uh, little look. So I can't really say, you know, whether or not the first one is better than this one or not. Um, unfortunately, um, the problem I have with this game is that it's bland. It's very bland. Um, and some of the Army Men games are really good. Like I said in my in my Hidden Gems video, um, you know, the Army Men games aren't like amazing, amazing games. They just kind of unique <laughs> um and this is a pretty interesting take on that series you play in a helicopter um so it plays similar to like the uh, jungle strike games you know uh you know urban strike you remember on the sega genesis those helicopter games where you go around the map and you know you collect people and stuff like that um and, and unfortunately the problem i have with this game is it, it's quite bland um yeah, another thing I, I, prob I had problems with is the controls are a little bit funky and can be a bit disorientating, especially when, you know, you're strafing and you, you, sometimes your helicopter is just going all over the place, you know. It is like a top-down shooter almost, but with sort of a bit of free reign over it, you know, you go and you have a mini little map and you, you know, but the, it's not really intuitive in any way, you know, you have your, your normal attack, you know, your missile and then your special attack. There are unlockable helicopters, of course, and maybe I will go back to this game one day and try to play more of it. But I did two missions, and then I got really bored of it. I just got bored of it. Maybe it was because of the mood I was in yesterday. I don't know. Um, but I just felt this game quite bland. It, it just didn't feel like it was, uh, you know, as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, and, yeah, it, it's kind of, um, you know, it... it, it it got good reviews, but maybe it's just because I'm spoiled by new games. I don't know. Um, but again, you might like this game. I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's just kind of bland. There's not really a lot going on. It's really just, you know, flying around the little map, shooting things. There's not really a lot of 
the effects are quite bland as well. <laughs> Again, the best way to say this game is it's bland. It's not amazing. It's average. Some people probably love this game, and if you do, fair play. Like I said, I've only done two missions. Maybe it gets better as you go on. Um, but still, an army main game, you know. Uh, next, um, Backyard Wrestling. I, I've already talked about how I loved this game as a kid, and this is a great example of a game that I, I, I have great nostalgia for, but when I went and played it last night, I, again, I just felt disappointed. And it's not because the game's bad, um, I just got my ass kicked. <laughs> because I used to play this with my brothers all the time, uh, and, you know, with a friend and stuff like that. You know, when you play with a friend, if you're playing a game with a friend and then you play it solo, you, you get a totally different experience. You know, because whether you're not you're good at, if you're good at the game or you're bad at the game and you're playing it with a friend, you're gonna have a bit of fun out of it. You're gonna be you know, you're gonna enjoy yourself. And unfortunately I just got my ass kicked in this game. Um and one problem is because it don't actually have a, a manual in here. Um, so I, I couldn't remember any of the buttons and I don't think the game tells you what the buttons are. Uh, I, every time I tried to get a hit in, you know, I, I would just get attacked and then, you know, the, the AI would go and pick up a weapon and throw it at me. Um, so I, uh, this isn't really a review, this is just my experience from last night with it. And it's kind of sad because I used to love playing this game, but again, this is the sort of game that I prefer to play with a friend or something because it's enjoyable and, you know, if you're both bad at the game, you're still going to get some enjoy enjoyment out of it. Maybe if I go online, look up the, um, the some buttons and tips, I could get better in the story mode, but still, you know, it is what it is. Um, uh, next, I've got um, a game that um, I used to play as a kid, and that's Army Men Green Road. Um, and uh, straight off the bat, I've got to say, this game is interesting. It's a auto-scrolling run-and-gun game, so you know, where your characters, the, the level's moving on its own, you just move with the level. Um, it reminds me a lot of, like, an arcade game, and, and that's what this game sort of feels like, is an arm, like a, uh, an arcade game. And it is challenging. You only get like three lives, and then the game, if you lose all three lives, you know, then you get two, you get three lives, and then um, three continues, you lose all them, it's game over. Um, that wouldn't be a problem, unfortunately. This game, the save file doesn't work. Um, it's nothing to do with my memory card because my memory card worked for every other game that I've played so far. Um, and I think this game had a similar problem when I was a kid. Um, you know, it says they're a high-tech arcade shooter, and that's what it is, it is an arcade shooter, you know, it's like a run-and-gun almost game. It is a little bit on the slow side, um, and it, 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 it's an okay game, um, it's nothing amazing by today's standards, again, um, it's challenging, I had the same, it, the same experience from when I was a kid, got to the second level boss, and I died. Uh, and that was it. And because I have no save file, because the game's save file just doesn't work for whatever reason, um, I, I, I couldn't be asked to go back and start all over again. But if you like those sort of almost twin stick auto shooters, scrolling shooters, try it out. It's kind of an interesting game. If you've got a friend to play it with, you might be able to get a bit further. Um, but yeah, um, it's an interesting one, but it doesn't hold up too well. Uh, and then we got uh, 50 Cent Bulletproof. This is a game that has a lot of nostalgia for some people. I never actually played this game as a kid. I did play the PSP one, however, and I beat the PSP one. I thought the PSP game was pretty good. And I have played the Xbox 360, you know, Blood on the Sand game, which was also a pretty good game. Not amazing, but pretty, pretty fun. Um, you know, for a game that has 50 Cent in it, you want to laugh. You really do. Um, but this is an okay game. It's like a... Um, uh, a shooter, third person shooter, has some pretty cool elements for it, is it you know, is it when you, you know, you got like, um, execution attack, you could take people hostage, you could loot bodies, which is kind of unique for its time, you know, um, and this game is a pretty fun game, it's not amazing, um, you know, once you, you the first, I, all I did was the prologue, the first, like, mission, and then I got to the bit where you You've got a little bit of free reign and you can go into the town and talk to people um, and, you know, level up, you know, upgrade your weapons and stuff like that. And this is a game I do want to come back to because I kind of enjoyed this game. It wasn't too bad, it wasn't amazing, um, but it, it's still a game that 
somewhat holds up. Um, some people might be a little disoriented with this game because the targeting system, well, don't really have a targeting system. Um, so, you know, if you're used to those third person shoots with targeting, you know, like GTA and stuff, you might be a little disoriented by this game. Um, but it's still a pretty fun game. Definitely check this one out. This one I do recommend. Um, however, Blade 2, on the other hand, I do not recommend. Um, which is kind of funny because when I was a kid, I remember watching someone play this game or at least trying it out and i thought it was pretty good um however this game the controls in this game are horrendous um this game plays like a playstation one or a um uh, you know a game that doesn't know how to do analog it plays like a dreamcast game and i think the original was on dreamcast so um it's weird because the left analog stick moves you and the camera. That on my alone just does my head in because yes, I know it's probably before you know, um, you know, uh, the twin analog um, third person shooter that we know and love today was probably you know the the main thing. Um, but it's so weird because the left when you lose using one analog stick to control the camera and your character's movement it just doesn't work and what does the right analog stick do hand to hand combat yeah the game has hand to hand combat with the right analog stick and you're meant to like push it in certain directions like you can punch behind you punch in front which is kind of unique and kind of cool but unfortunately um it's just it just doesn't work um, again, I got past the tutorial, I got to the first level and I come to a part where you, there's a tank in the way and there's no way to destroy it so I had no clue what to do um, and I just gave up with it. Um, but like I said, it's kind of an intuitive um, control design, unfortunately it just it just doesn't really work. Um, yeah, you know, things like Batman and Spider-Man games and Assassin's Creed, those sort of fighting mechanics where you've only got three buttons, you know heavy, slow, uh, quick and reversal strike does seem kind of um, bland by today's standards but it works really well because it's, it's simple and it works really well and you know it's easy to pick up and play unfortunately this game just doesn't do that with that analog control you're meant to push it in rhythm to do combos and for some reason I have no clue why, why they decided to do that you know you could have just had a, a simple you know button for, for the um thing because it's weird because you know some buttons in this game don't even do anything so it's not like you know you you've not got enough buttons um it reminds me a lot of like you know when angry video game nerd when he when he plays some games and there's some crazy button combinations just for a, a certain item or move and it's kind of like why why what were they thinking <laughs> um yeah it's kind of sad you know i do like the blade movies they're not amazing but i do like them um and unfortunately this game just you know some people might like this game give it a try it's not the worst thing i've ever played it's not even a bad game it's just the controls are a little bit crazy and the last one i tried out was bad boys 2 now this seemed like a pretty cool game because you know it's got cover based shooter in here and um, it's got some cool things like you can shoot people's guns out of their hands, um, some indestructible environment, you know. But I do like the bad boys thing. You get to play as both the characters. I, I forgot what their names are. I know it's Martin Lawrence and fucking uh, Will Smith, but I don't, I can't remember the names of the characters. I haven't. Oh, Mike, Mike Flaherty and Mar Marcus Bennett. There we go. It says it right on the back. <laughs> I haven't watched the movies in a while. Um, and I haven't watched the new one yet. Um, it seemed like a pretty cool game. Unfortunately, um, again, I got to... No, go! Um, yeah, I got to the, the first boss of the game. And I just... Okay, here's the problem with this game. Um, this game boasts that it has first person and third person perspectives. Um, and the third person perspective works you know, all right for a PlayStation 2 game, you know. It, it's not amazing, but it works. Um, um, and the third-person perspective works, you know, like I said, for pretty decent, you know, not amazing, but it works. Um, 
Unfortunately, the first person perspective doesn't. Now, there are PlayStation 2 games that do have first and third person perspectives, like The Suffering, where it actually works. Um, you know, even like the James Bond games, some of the James Bond games are first person shoots, but when you go into cover, you're in third person. However, this game does it completely the opposite way. Instead of going into third person when you go into cover, it goes into first person. And this is before cover based shooters work. You know, Gears of War, in my opinion, is what perfected the cover based shooter. We all know that. Unfortunately, this the problem with this game is that. When you go into a cover, it goes into first person and it just doesn't work um, because you just end up getting shot and to be honest, you know, you just don't want to use the cover um, and, then, and then the game forces you to go into a cover mode um, when you're fighting the first boss and that's where the problem lies is that, you know, when, when a game goes into a cover, like, you know, her name one that I know that does that is James Bond Quantum of Solid. When you go into cover, you go into third person because you can aim. The whole point of a cover game is that you can use cover more useful, more easier in in third person than you can in first person. And there are games that have perfected first person cover, you know, like Rainbow Six Siege, for example. You know, <laughs> it has been done. It is possible. Unfortunately. This was before it was perfected. I, I, I give, you know, I give them prompts for trying something. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit wonky and a little bit kind of like, yeah, it doesn't work very well. And it's kind of sad because, you know, I, I actually thought this game wasn't too bad until I did that. Um, so, yeah, I was a bit annoyed with that, that it forces you to go into the first person cover shooting to fight the boss and... That, that bothered me, that really did bother me, so I won't be playing this one again anytime soon, but um, out of all the games that I've said today, if you're going to try one, try out 50 Cent Bulletproof, it's probably the best one out thing, or if you've got a friend to play with, Backyard Wrestling is still a fun game. So yeah, um, some little reviews there to, um, that I tried out, um, and like I said, I left what I like doing with PlayStation 2 sometimes, is that... Sometimes I'll sit there and I'll play a game for 10, 20 minutes and then move on to another game, normally because if the game not pulling me in enough. Um, but it, it gives me a good opportunity to do a little video, sharing some opinions with you guys and uh, telling you what I think, whether or not they're worth you know, playing. So none of these games are terrible. Um, they all just, they're quite, some of them, just, they've just got some flaws that, you know, there are worse games out there. Like I said, they're not terrible games, they're just a little bit flawed here and there. So you might be able to get enjoyment out of them. Try them out. You know, they're not sports games or anything, so something different um, there for everyone. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like and, of course, comment below. Let me know what you think of these games and let me know do you like these little micro reviews that I could do on. Uh, personal experiences. Yeah. I'll do more of them when I play more PlayStation 2 yeah. games in the future. Yeah. I might do, react, do that one for a week actually, play a couple of PlayStation 2 games. Yeah. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. Yeah. Uh, follow me on yeah. Twitter and Instagram at The Mad Tiger. And of course, check me out on Mixer. I will be streaming tonight, hopefully, with my mate. And we're going to have a lot more fun on Red Dead Redemption. He kind of needs it. So, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't really play a lot of, uh, you know, games like GTA Online, Red Dead Online on my own. But with a friend, it can be pretty fun. And uh, we're actually enjoying it. Uh, just messing around. Uh, and uh, seeing all the crazy stuff that happens. But anyway, guys, as always, have a nice day. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.